Alright, so this is the second part of my quest to put customs on Rockman 2. Uh, this that I have open right now is uh, Reaper. It's the file that it, it's in the harmonics downloads on their website. Um, you're going to have to download Reaper and the plugin. Reaper is free for 30 days and then you have to pay $60 for it. You can get it illegally, but I'm not going to talk about that. You can do that on your own time. Uh, the plugin is free though. The plugin allows you to uh, get a screen like that. That's that's all the plugin does. You have to have Reaper to run that on top of it though. But anyway, enough of that. You, so you have to have the uh, .midi file for your song, your chart. And you're going to open up a uh, project template, the Rock by Network template right here. And it's going to open up something and you delete all the, you delete all the uh, streams that you're going to put in there. So if you have drums, you're going to delete the drum stream, obviously. If you have bass, you're going to delete the bass stream, yada yada. So we're going to import, uh, by the way, insert media file. We're going to import our media file. Um, okay, before we do this, we have to make sure our whole song is selected, as you can see, to make sure that it starts at the beginning. So now we have all of our charts in, so we need to put everything where it corresponds. So the bass goes on the bass, the guitar goes on the guitar, wait, what? Guitar goes on guitar. Bass goes on bass. Where's drum? There's drums. Alright, so I'm just putting stuff where they need to be. Uh, we don't have vocals, so we can delete this. Wait, what's this? Okay. Um... Yeah, I'm going to take this a little south. Okay. Okay, so anyway, we're going to um, delete all the unnecessary things. We're going to delete our vocals. Because we don't have vocals, we're going to delete uh, venue. We don't need venue. And we don't need an audio track. Unless you're actually charting in Reaper, which I don't recommend. Uh, so we have our three streams right here. And... Uh, the first thing we're going to do is do the drums. So there's a lot of extra stuff going on here. Um, most of it is not necessary. Um, yeah, there's no overdrive on these drum on this drum chart, but if there was, it would appear somewhere in here and you'd, you'd be able to spot it out. It'd be like the overdrive is in little spots, in, in little splotches, and you just move it up to the overdrive bar right here, and then that'd be overdrive. But you have to make sure it doesn't touch any notes. Okay, so you're gonna delete these unnecessary, uh, unnecessary bars. These are um, Rock Band 1 format, and this is Rock Band 2, so... This person charted easy, medium, hard, and expert drums. Most uh, people don't do that, so... Yeah. But, uh... Now we're going to... Um, add the drum mixes, which are required, but there is a way to get past the... Um, quality standard that magma sets what I found out to do, what I found out is that you can just this is an unnecessary event right here oh actually that might be a bass solo Let's try a bass solo. That'd be kind of cool. Uh, oh, they don't allow it. Huh. 
They said there would be bass solos. They don't even allow it. What the hell? Okay, well, we have to delete the bass solo, unfortunately. Okay. So now that's done. Uh, is there a part? Yeah, there's a part bass. Okay. Good, good, good. Now we're doing guitar. And this is pretty self-explanatory. I guess I'm, I'm guessing it'd be the same as bass, because I haven't done bass yet. But all right, there's no overdrive in this chart. Ball. I guess those are overdrive. This is a solo. Yeah, that's a solo. This should be overdrive. So we're gonna move this line up to overdrive. Right, that's overdrive, okay. So now it has working overdrive and uh this is to go. That should be it. Uh, we got to do one more thing though. We got to. Oh, he did add that. Oh no, this is okay. So we have to. Um, there's an events section right here. These are all like all the things that happen on the stage, like the animations and stuff. We're not gonna do animations. They're not required to build the song. But we are required to. Uh, make an end to the music so you have to drag these markers that are pre-made there all the way to the end just make sure they're at least one measure apart because you don't want the music to end right when the chart ends you want there to be a little bit of lead time it just adds a little bit of professionalness to your chart uh, now what we're gonna do is file Export project MIDI, multi track MIDI, embed MIDI track. I'm gonna make my my stuff organized. Uh, okay, this should work first time. If it doesn't, we're gonna have to go through troubleshooting. So, what we're doing is opening up Magma and we're gonna try and build it without any problems. Hopefully. And I don't know why Magma is not opening. Magma. Open, please. Magma. Open. There. Oh, shit. Okay. Alright. Title will be Treason. Uh, I forgot who it's by. Um, Kid Cabbage. Okay. Uh, this was authored by, um, this dude that's like amazing at charting songs. This guy, in the in the middle. can't copy and paste, what the hell? Okay, so this is this now. You're never you're not gonna have a master. I have a master because this guy released a master with his chart, because it's like his band or something. So um you're just gonna put the MP3 of the song on here I'm putting the master down but so let's say let's say you have a drum chart a bass chart and a guitar chart for a song that you don't have masters for you're just gonna put um you're gonna put a drum uh, under the drum kit you're gonna put the mp3 the whole song and the same for bass and guitar if you get what I mean but I'm gonna put the master